talk to us about this so-called conservative guidance. Are you managing to prove to the investor right now that you can really leverage this opportunity to build on the growth you've seen in the first and second and third quarters? Yeah, what would be great about the quarter that we had, 21% GMV growth, 26% revenue growth, uh, added active buyers to 183 million buyers. So we really feel well positioned for the holiday season. You know, eBay is a great in, in all kinds of economic times. When times are tough, they have great values on the platform. Uh, and when times are well, people want to shift to e-commerce and, and come on the site. So we're really pleased with, with where we are and what we're seeing. Why do you think investors aren't pleased with your quarterly guidance for next quarter? Mm -hmm. Is invariably there going to be a bit of a slowdown? We know we're not going to be hopefully locked in as much as we were in March time. But how do you prove to them that the growth you can hold on to and sustain? You know, we're in such a dynamic environment right now. Things are changing uh, daily. You know, we were going on our call yesterday as France was shutting down. We're seeing changes in Germany. Uh, so there's just a lot of moving parts with the business. But what I feel great about is, is that our strategy is right on. You know, we're defending our core business. We launched new verticals. We're going after this $500 billion total addressable market in non-new and season. Mm -hmm. And we're low single digits, uh, sorry, high single digits, low double digits in terms of penetration. So there's lots of opportunity for us on a go forward basis. I want to dig in on that non-new in season. It's an interesting take. It's all about looking at collectibles, refurbished goods, vintage watches, collectible sneakers, high-end coffee machines that you get refurbished. You just talked about a phenomenal addressable market there. How did you zero in on this? What's really the opportunity for you? Yeah, well, it's really been the core of eBay. The core of eBay is amazing values, those amazing finds. And we have so much opportunity and a right to win in that space. It's also more than 50% of our GMB, and it's got a lot of growth potential. So we're investing in a lot of specific areas. Like this quarter, we announced some new experience in watches, where we're authenticating all watches over $2,000. We're using escrow over $10,000. We're adding new buying channels, and we're seeing great early results. And while that took us months to build, weeks later, we put the same experience in sneakers. Huge, great growing market for us. Um, and in sneakers, we're gonna be authenticating every sneaker sold on the platform over $100, starting with top brands and then growing to, to all sneakers. And what's great about categories like that is they bring on a younger consumer, mm. a Gen Z millennial consumer. And when they come onto the platform, they not only buy sneakers, they buy across the site. We see they end up buying in 10 different unique categories across the experience. So by investing in this area where eBay is really unique because of our consumer selling, because of our global footprint, we think we're on the right strategy. So look out real, real, look out goat. I know you've spoken very passionately before, Jamie, about the seller, about your relationship with the seller, about ensuring that they keep coming back to the eBay platform. You're making payments easier. I know that you've been striking deals with UPS and the like. How do you see the holiday season unfolding for the seller? How do you see the holiday season unfolding for us actually getting our packages? Yeah, well, look, um, the average household has $4,000 of items that they could sell on eBay, and less than 20% of that is online. So it's a big opportunity to bring in what we call the consumer seller, the average people like you and I uh, selling on eBay. And this is a great time period. You know, people are having to spend more time at home. Uh, they may need more cash. So eBay's there for them. And we're doing a lot of things to make the selling process even easier. And what we see is when a buyer comes on and tries selling, they become twice as valuable as a buyer because they've tried both parts of the marketplace. So we're really leaning into consumer selling and making that a, a big focus. We've got 19 million sellers on the platform uh, and really looking to continue to grow that. When you say you're helping attract younger customers at the moment, are you already seeing that re rewards at the moment? It was always thought that eBay sort of skewed towards an older male consumer. Are you already seeing that sort of numbers, the data that you focus on shifting? Yeah, in fact, it's our fastest growing segment is actually the the Gen Z customer. So we're really leaning in there. I talked about the example of sneakers, but there's lots of other categories that we're leaning in on. And importantly, we're also going out to where those buyers are. So you're seeing a completely different level of marketing from us. When you look at the marketing that we're doing in watches, or we look at the marketing that we're doing in sneakers. The other big launch that we had uh, just last week was in certified refurbish. So now the certified refurbish program on eBay includes a 30 day hassle-free return, two-year warranties, and of course, eBay money-back guarantee. So you're essentially getting a like new product for, for you know, probably 50% off what you'd be paying otherwise with a high level of trust. And that's been really important to us is 
How do we communicate that eBay is a really trusted platform? We have the money back guarantee. And this certified refurbished program is a good example of that. That's another example that'll bring in a, a younger demographic because they're constantly looking for values. And equally importantly, they're looking for sustainable commerce. So being able to use those products again and again is really important to younger generations. Good value across the board. It seems those Stiefel analysts were saying, hey, your shares are pretty good value right now. You should buy them back. Are you looking at doing that? Yeah, we think our shares are undervalued as well. exciting when we look at the early feedback what the community is saying about the areas that we're investing in like the um, sneakers launch it's really powerful but even more powerful is the payments so will mm -hmm. by 2020 do 2022 do two billion dollars 500 million dollars in income in our payments business and we're now live in five countries we're already processing 20 percent of the on ebay platform through payments and payments is not only great for the business but it's also great for the seller and the buyer the sellers who are on our new payments platform have a 10 point higher NPS than, than sellers who are not yeah. on it. So we're really excited. It takes friction out for the buyer. They get more choices across credit card, Google Pay, Apple Pay. So it's a huge horizontal effort that's not gonna only pay for the business, but it'll pay off for our customers. You're not gonna answer me whether you go buy them back then. <laughs> we think we, we think our shares are, uh, you know, we did a lot of buyback this quarter. We think our shares are undervalued. We think we're going after a huge market and, and we're liking the momentum that we're seeing in the business.